So, Jeremiah, thank you very much for joining us today, first of all. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Nice so, to meet you. Nice to meet you. And obviously, oh, oh, congratulations to your show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, and it's I, incredibly humbling to see you know, how well it's received. So it's, yeah. And I, and I can imagine it must be totally surreal to see your own show popping up in the top 10, you know, like in pretty much like, like in every country in the world. <laughs> yes. I mean, every single person on this show, like behind the camera and in front of the camera has worked so incredibly hard on this show to, to see how well, you know, it's received by its audience is, is, you know, very rewarding in that sense. So, yeah. So what, what would you say, because of course I've seen that your Instagram is also growing since the show. <laughs> so uh, what would you say how much uh, your, your personal and of course uh, acting life has already changed since the show? Um, that's a good question. Um, because I feel like my day-to-day -day life hasn't massively changed in that sense because I'm still doing like everything I'm doing on a daily basis. Um, and you know, my family still, uh, looks at me the same way uh so the people are close to me, they, for, for them nothing has changed in that sense um but obviously like you know to see you know how how many people are approaching me now uh, online and and really told me like how, how much they love to show and everything that is just you know an entirely different thing and it's incredibly like it's it's beautiful oh that's <laughs> awesome man that's awesome and i mean you know changes of course you know with with, with success you know they, they, there are changes coming as well and sometimes you know like some people are like uh, changes are you know like a, a, a great thing and some people are you know a little bit a little bit afraid of changes yeah. <laughs> so what about you are you a little bit afraid of you know the the of, of everything changing or or is that what motivates you even more um well you know change can always be a, a scary thing in itself but i also yeah. think change this great opportunity and you know like change like can be always a very good thing and especially in this case now change you know is rapid and fast but uh it's a very positive change absolutely and there, i mean there are so many uh you know themes in the show that are very fascinating and you know uh, for example of course the main conflict you know with kayla and mac you know they have you know they struggle of course with uh, with the question uh, which talent is more important you know or or at least yes. what, what yes. Tata believes you know that that that, that their parents yes. care more about meg and and not so much about her um mm. but sometimes sometimes i feel like it's so crucial and important to put yourself first in order to really achieve your dreams because sometimes it feels like if you if you go the way that 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 your family wants you to go or that friends want you to want you to go or that, that anyone wants you to go that is close to you it may you may end up you know kind of living a life that you didn't imagine so how important is it for you sometimes when it comes down to your acting career to mm -hmm. self first sometimes in order to truly achieve your goals good question good question <laughs> well you know i think about this way you know if you learn to love yourself fully and truly and embrace yourself you know with all the good the bad and the ugly then yeah. you know it would be a lot easier for you to love everyone else the same as well you know and embrace people and all of their beauty and all of their color so I think, you know, actually they go hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I, I believe you have, you have uh, sisters and brothers, you know, right? Yes, indeed, indeed. <laughs> so do you, you know, how important is it for you, you know, to, to, to be like a role model when it comes down, you know, to, to show and prove to them that you can achieve, that, that, that your dreams can become a reality as long as you truly work for them? Yes, uh, actually quite important. Uh, I'm one of the oldest of my uh, brothers and right, sisters. Yeah. And so, you know, taking that stand and taking that responsibility is, is um, quite important to me actually. And, you know, to see now that, you know, they love the show, they watch the show and they, they, they came back to me and were like, oh, I really like, and you know, they can now go and go, oh, look, my brother is there. Yeah. Doing this. You know, <laughs> in school and that, and it's like, to me, it's just incredibly humbling, but at the same time, it's as well like, um, you know, I'm trying to be a good example to them and make sure that um, they have someone to look up, look up to and uh, someone to follow in good steps. Yeah, I, I'm sure that this must be like a total inspiration for them as well, because I don't know about you, but I'm sure you also have people like that in your life, you know, because sometimes, you know, you have like people around you that go like that, that, that uh, are very, they go like, damn, I haven't reached my dreams now. And, and, but, but sometimes you go like, what are you doing for them? You know, 
And so sometimes, you know, they, they, they try to use, uh, you know, different paths, you know, and, and they just don't want to go the one that they have to go, you know, even if it's like super long and challenging, but, but it's just the one you have to go in order to, to get there. And some people are just like, you know, waiting at home, waiting that someone knocks at their doors and that, and that, that someone goes like, hey, we were looking for you, man. You know, <laughs> so you make sure that you you don't waste time and then that you 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 know that you really push yourself. You know, um, I think for me, what is key is persistency. Mm -hmm. um, you know, doing doing the things that you love to do, uh, not just on Monday and Tuesday, but you know, on a daily basis. And that way, you know, keeps my my, my soul fed and and my soul happy. Um, but at the same time, you know, also make sure that you know I stay on track for the things that I want to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is um, um, the, the beer very often has to make you know hard decisions in the show. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, at one point we don't want to give it away, but at one point he has to make the decision: what's more important, the team or family? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it feels like that that you need to make hard decisions, and it's hard because you know that one side or the other will probably be disappointed. So I was wondering, how do you deal with, with hard decisions that you have to make? Yeah, so, I mean, for Bear, it's obviously, it's, it's incredible because to him, it's like, family is so important and his other priority is the team, right? And so when those two clash, then for him, it's really about finding the balance and the compromise that not only benefits himself, but everyone around him too. And so, you know, that consideration is really something that really kind of like flipped over to me as well when I find myself in, in, in situations, you know, that consideration, what is good for everyone around me as well as for me. Right, right. And you know, there's the, the, the arc of, of, of your character is very interesting, especially in the second half of the show, because we get to know his father. There's like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the relationship with, between him and his, and his brother, we, we get to see more of that. And it's so interesting because, because Beer has, you know, like, he has a hard time forgiving his father and he's, he has a hard time, you know, allowing his father back into his life. And his brother is completely different. His brother is like, yay, daddy, you know, so, um, but, and, and, and so, you know, forgiveness, I feel like forgiveness is something so uh, funny sometimes because sometimes, you know, people are like, they are able to forgive, you know, like the worst thing ever. And then there are some people that are like, damn, you watched the movie without me? Go oh, leave, 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 leave this home. You know they, they don't want to talk to you again because of silly stuff. You know, <laughs> so I was wondering, what is your definition of forgiveness? How easy or challenging is it for you sometimes to to forgive? Mm -hmm. um, well, for Bear, obviously, forgiveness is like incredibly important um, to embrace for himself. Yeah. Not only like, to because he gets hurt a few times, but to really turn his scars into stars, he really has to learn to forgive and. It's, it's a beautiful journey to play. And for myself, I think it's in a sim on a similar level. Forgiveness is so important, you know, on a journey to, to love myself fully and truly, but also um, to really accept and, and love the people around me and, and live life fully. Right, that's super important, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Jeremiah, of course, I want to thank you very much for, for, uh, for your time today, for, for doing this interview with us for, for, for German and Swiss TV. Um, of course, all the best for your future work. It's uh, super exciting right now. I can imagine it must be like mind blowing at this time. Um, of course, uh, all the best and, 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 and maybe again for season two. Who knows? <laughs> no, no, let's say. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeremiah. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. Bye. 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 Take care.